Hey, we often use the words world-renowned when describing our LASIK expert, Dr. John Dishler. Today, we want to show you proof he's one of the best in his field, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, LAS LASIK. So if you want to call 303 Martino's the number, you see what this is? Forbes magazine, okay? Now, if you look inside, you're going to see something from Goldline Research. Now, Goldline Research has, and there you'll see the blow up of this. They have named him as one of the top 10 in the country. Dr. John G. Dishler, 8400 East Prentice Avenue, Suite 1200, Greenwood Village, 303-793-3000. And this is 2009. You can't buy your way into this. This is an ultimate status list here. All right, Dr. Dishler, can I ask you what the G stands for? Gordon. Okay. <laughs> As a matter of fact. Yeah. Are you sorry I asked? No. Uh, Dr. Dishler, uh, you've been doing this a very, very long time. Yes. And I'd like to talk, first of all, about how do you get to be good at it? Some people say it's just a matter of programming a laser. A lot of people think it's all technology. Technology is important. Absolutely. What's beyond technology? Well, I, my answer to that is, you know, being a great golfer is just a matter of swinging a golf club. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, there's, there's first, first you have to go to medical school, then you have to do a residency, then you usually specialized training, surgery, all that stuff, and then you have training in LASIK. Now, when I started doing LASIK in 1995, it was brand new. We were one of the, we've come full circle because we were one of the first 10 doctors. I was one of the first 10 doctors in the whole United States in the whole US. to do LASIK, probably the third or the fourth. So it was a new thing. We were working collaboratively to develop this. Um, the people from Goldline that, that did this research, they tell me that now there are 10,000 doctors in the, just in the United States. And you're one of 10 they picked. Yeah, so isn't that, that's, I'm 10, really honored. 10,000. They, they whittled it down to about 1,000 based on their criteria, and then from that they came up with their top 10, and we were just really excited to hear we were amongst that group. Now, when did they let you know? Uh, just a few weeks ago. And that's so we were just, uh, couldn't wait to get on your show and, and no, let everybody I'm, I'm know want, about that. It's wonderful, and it's a validation of what we've been saying. And, and because so many people have questions and you are the expert, I want to talk about LASIK now when it does come to a blend of technology and knowledge. A lot has to do with the examination. A lot has to do with the preliminary work. Talk about right. what you do there different than most. Well, How this comprehensive is, it is. Well, thank you. This is like a practice of medicine, just like any other practice of medicine. So the most important thing is the history. You have to meet the person, talk to them, find out what their needs are, where they're starting from. And then, of course, there's the diagnostic testing, which doesn't get as much glamour, but you have to have good technology for doing the diagnostic testing. We did some of yes. that on you. You've done, to, a, you've done a whole bunch to, on To me. evaluate people's eyes um, from a lot of different scientific ways. And then there's discussion with patient counselors, with the doctors, uh, and then ultimately doing the procedure itself. It is kind of like flying an airplane that it's somewhat automated, which is good because that makes the results very reproducible. But like everything else, there's just a little bit of art to it, and there's the little fine nuances that, that you get better at with experience. And, and you can pretty much predict the results. Yeah, you know, no one can predict absolutely the future. If we could, you know, yeah. uh, that'd be great. But we can usually predict. What we can tell people is we keep a database, so we can say based on other people with the same, with mapping. The same mapping, the same refraction, the same data, We've done so many people, we've done almost 50,000 of these, we can say, look at other people like you, and from that group, here's how they turn out. You know, 98, 99% of people starting out like you did turned out 20, 20, that sort of thing. So that's really very helpful. Now, many, many people have normal aging of the eye, I call it presbyopia, where one, where you, they, they, they start having to do this, and then right. pretty soon your arms get too short. So. Um, it's very important, people, when you think about this, people say, well, I couldn't take having one close and one far. Dr. Dishler explained this to me. Many times right. that's because they make one eye too close and one eye too far, and as the, uh, they're way far apart. Right, right. That's the trick is that, you know, balance. you have to balance them. And so we very carefully, with glasses, with contacts, 
reach the balance for each individual patient. Some people can tolerate a bigger difference, some people just a little bit of difference. We do a lot of what we call modified monovision where we give people good distance vision, good intermediate vision, and decent near vision, but tell them you'll need a pair of five and dime yeah. reading glasses for reading, you know, yeah. little tiny Like if print. you want to read tiny, 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 print. maybe you might need some glasses, but right. you get great vision here where others don't tell them that. And But the good part about it is it's such a natural, such a natural look. I wanted to ask you something. These are questions we always get, so I'm just going to sum them up because we get them all the time. And if you have questions, feel free to call at 303 Martino. Astigmatism. Number one question, can you do an astigmatism and what is it? Well, in this model of this perfect eye, this eye is nice and regularly round in okay. all directions. If I could heat this up and melt it and squish it a little bit, yeah. um, then and this, would, then this would change shape. It'd be more like a football shape than, a, than, and it than would be, round. Than round, and so that's astigmatism. And what we can do with the lasers, we can put a little more laser pulses on the, on the flat parts and leave the other parts alone. So you can so treat it now. We can treat it. We can treat any mixture, which is really neat. Nearsightedness, farsightedness, astigmatism, or any combination of those things if the refraction is the problem, even people with very strong uh, prescriptions. You know, we saw a patient, and he's going to come on the show, 65 years old, minus 11, I mean, had glasses this thick, and he sees 20-20 now, just absolutely wow. thrilled. So we can do from very nearsighted to very farsighted or, or kind of anywhere in between. It's really come a long way from where it was you know, in the early days where we couldn't do all these things like astigmatism and that sort of thing. And the next question, why bladeless surgery and what does that mean here? What does it mean if you don't well, have bladeless? The, the original blade surgery dates back to a technology that's almost 40 years old that was based on cutting skin. Um, and what is used with the blade is there's a little membrane that's cut with the razor blade. That's the tricky and, and part of the flap. procedure and it makes a flap. So now what we do is we have two different lasers that do this and it uses a laser to separate the eye is like an onion in the front. It's made yeah. like an onion. So we just separate the normal natural planes of that onion, separate two planes so we can make sort of a flap but we can do it with a laser rather than cutting it with a blade. We can make these flaps incredibly thin so thin they're like the thickness of a, of a sheet of wax paper where we can go less deep into the eye, less invasive, ah. more perfect, less chance of rips or tears or any nasty things going on and very quick recovery. Typically patients see great just in a day. All right, let's uh, review here. Forbes Magazine, one of the top 10 laser eye surgeons in the country and uh, it's for real recognized by colleagues, recognized by experts, by research leaders, Dr. John Dishler. If you want to reach him, of course, the number is, and by the way, this is the special, $3,100 for both eyes. And he prides himself in saying, if you really see exactly what you're getting at any competitor, they cannot beat this price. Now, they can give you a come on, but when you really get right down to it for the actual correction, for the bladeless surgery, for everything you're getting, before care, during and after, $3,100, both eyes, and with approved credit, you get 24 months, 0% interest financing, and that's 303-793-3000, 303-793-3000, or dishler.com, dishler.com. Paula?